Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the useful tools available with your WordPress installation. Now we're going to start from the WordPress dashboard and we're going to find these under Tool and then Available Tools and you just want to click on that. Now here the first thing you're going to see is the Press This feature. Now Press This is a tool which allows you to grab little bits of the web and then create them into new posts and it's very easy to use. It's a bookmarklet which you can install just by dragging and dropping the link into the bookmarks toolbar of your browser. So here I can just pick up Press This and then drop that in there. And also we can copy and paste that. Or if you're on mobile, you might want to open the link directly and then save that. So make that just a little bit easier for use on mobile. You now want to load up a uh, video, an image or a, an article that you wish to save to your blog. And you can then use the press this bookmarklet in order to quickly add a new post about that feature that you have found online. So what I've got here is a blog post from my theme shop about how to prevent WordPress from generating image sizes. And if I wish to save this to my blog, and it's very easy to do, I just need to click on press this. And we can see that WordPress is going to automatically grab the title, as well as a small excerpt in a block quote, along with a source and the title, which is actually linked to the post. Very important always to include attribution. We can see here that we got this excerpt and I can just add my own comments if I would like. Just close out of the block quote there. Might want to add something, a comment there. I can of course highlight that and go for the usual styling options. So I might just put that in bold just to make sure that stands out. We're also going to see at the top of the post, I've got these previews of all of the images included with the post and that I can um, just create a space there. And then I can just use this button here, just clicking on the preview in order to add any of those images into my post. I can then access the standard WordPress image editing options here. I'm just going to close that and on the right hand side we're going to see once we're done with our content that we can add categories just by clicking on categories here and choosing from all of the categories that we have on our site. So I might just put this under awesome and then we've also got tags and we can choose from the most common tags or enter new tags just as you would normally. Just going to add two tags there and then revert back. On the bottom right hand side you're going to see that you've got options here to save your draft to load up your post in the standard editor or to preview what your post is going to look like on your site. I'm ready to publish though, so I'm just gonna click publish. And we're gonna see that um, the article is uploaded to our site. And we can see here we've got this block quote, the text that I added, the image, as well as the source here. And um, press this is really as simple to use as that. As I said, you can just drag and drop this onto your bookmarks bar copy and paste if you'd like to, or if you're on mobile, just open that link directly. The next tool that we're going to look at is the Categories and Tags Converter. You can use this to convert categories to tags or vice versa, um, just by installing this little plugin here. And you can just click on it and WordPress will uh, take you to the import page. So we're actually gonna be on Tools and then Import here. You just need to click on Categories and Tags Converter. You're gonna be prompted to install this plugin and you can just press Install Now in order to do that. You want to activate and run the importer and you're going to see we're now taken to the categories the tags converter page and here all we need to do is select the categories you wish to convert to tags or you can click here and now you can convert your tags to categories you just need to uh, select the uh, ones you want and once you're done you can press convert tags to categories or categories to tags now this is quite a powerful tool um, and categories and tags are very different taxonomies and you're only going to want to use this if you really know what you're doing. You might in fact find it easier to do this manually just by going to posts and then clicking on categories and tags and changing your posts manually there. If you'd like this option though you're going to see it available here and you can check all or select the ones that you want individually. Next tool to look at is imports. And here we're going to see that we have a list of all of the different content management systems or publishing platforms that we can import our content from onto our WordPress installation. You're going to see you've got Blogger, LiveJournal, uh, Movable Type and TypePad. You can import from RSS feed, Tumblr, as well as WordPress. To get using one of these, it's very simple. You just need to click on the platform you wish to install from. So if I wanted to install from LiveJournal, I would just click on that there. 
and we're going to see that um, I've got this plugin which I can install and I just need to click install now and then upload my content and then WordPress is going to handle the rest of that for me. So importing from WordPress is very similar, you just need to click on WordPress, install the WordPress importer and then you can import your content from a different WordPress blog and in fact to produce a file that uh, you want to import from. It's an XML file and you can produce your own just by going to export here. So under tools and then export. And here you're going to be able to download an XML file containing all of your posts, pages, comments, custom fields, categories, and tags. And once you've saved the file, you can then import it onto a different WordPress installation. Now it's worth noting that this isn't going to include anything such as your themes, your plugins, um, or any of your settings that you've saved on your site, it's actually just having the content. So you shouldn't be treating this as a backup solution. If you are after a full backup solution, you might want to check out my WP Backup from my theme shop, which is a fully featured and free backup plugin. On the WordPress exporter page though, you're gonna see that you can choose to export all of your content. So that's everything I mentioned before or you can choose just posts and you can select the categories, authors, date range, as well as uh, the status, so whether they're published or draft and so on. And you can do the same with pages just by clicking on pages. Uh, you can choose your authors and a date range as well as the status. You'll probably just want to export all of your content here and you can just press download export file and we can see here that WordPress has produced an XML file and I can just download that onto my computer in order to export all of my content. So that actually concludes our look through the useful tools available with your WordPress installation. As I mentioned, you're gonna find them all under tools here. You've got the categories, the tags converter, as well as press this, which is a really powerful little bookmarklet, as well as your import and export functions. Just worth noting, once again, that uh, the export is not a substitute for doing proper backups, and you should look to an external plugin, such as MyWP Backup from my theme shop in order to do that for you. I hope this video has been helpful, and thank you very much for watching. Music